Hello and welcome to another video from GreenRate Technology. In this video we're going to cover network bonds specifically for VM traffic. Alright, and the, the, the reasons for using network bonds are generally for redundancy uh, in the event that a link is lost or maybe a, a switch that that particular network card is connected to goes down um, to just ensure that the the system has the maximum uptime possible um, as well as to potentially improve bandwidth uh, certainly for the case of VM traffic the ability to uh, improve bandwidth is possible just some general numbers for the Citrix Zen server it supports eight total network bonds as well as only two network cards are supported per bond or team. Um, by default, the the server utilizes active-active bonding mode, uh, which is what we want for our VM traffic, so that both network cards can be utilized at the same time. Um, and essentially what that means in this case is that a single VM doesn't use both network cards at the same time, but all the VMs tied to that specific network will load balance between the two network cards. Just some general information regarding this particular demonstration. Uh, the version of Zen server I'm using is 6.0. Uh, this is, will be a standalone host environment. Uh, and I'll run through configuring the network bonds with the Zen Center interface as well as from the command line. So we're going to start off with do the Zen Center configuration uh, and go from there. Here we have a clean install of Citrix Zen Server. Uh, on this particular server, I have four NICs uh, to be utilized. Generally, you would use a mix of both the onboard uh, as well as a, a PCI network interface. Uh, so that way you have redundancy in the event either the onboard or the the PCI or the PCI Express card fails. Uh, so what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to utilize uh, NIC1 and NIC3 to create our bond. Uh, and all we're going to do is uh, under the NICs tab on the server is come to create bond. And we'll choose NIC1 and NIC3. And as we can see, our bond mode is currently active-active, uh, which is what we want since we're creating this bond for VM traffic. Uh, I can change the maximum transmission unit. 1500 is fine. I also have the option to automatically add this network to any new VMs that are created. Uh, generally, I like doing this if I'm creating this VM, this, this bond for VM traffic, and this is the only bond I have for uh, VM traffic. Uh, in this case, we can just leave it unchecked, and we'll come to create. And in this case, from here, we can see our bond has been created, bond 1 plus 3. Uh, we can come to networking to further modify the bond that we've just created. Uh, so in this case, I may want to change the, the name of the network from just bond 1 plus 3. Uh, what we can do is we can just name it VM. Uh, network and at that point our new bond has been created let's go ahead and jump to configuring a network bond from the command line interface We'll jump right into the command line configuration. I've actually already connected to the Citrix Zen server uh, via SSH. And we're just going to run through a few commands to uh, duplicate what we did from the Zen Center interface. First command being is that we're going to create the network associated with the, uh, that we're going to associate with the bond. So it's going to be XE network create name dash label and we're going to provide the name for the network and we're just going to choose VM network 
and what we've just been provided it with the is the uh, the network UUID which you're going to need in a uh, latter step uh, but the next command we're going to run is xe pif dash list and what this is going to do is going to give us uh, a listing of all the physical interfaces that we have on the Zen server uh, because we're going to need the UUIDs uh, to associate with the bond all right so like in the previous example we're going to use uh, the interface one and three which we can see here three and one so we're going to go ahead and associate those with the network bond so we're going to run xe bond create network uuid and then we're going to utilize the uuid we provided when we created the network and just use the tab completion so I don't have to type the whole thing out and at this point we're going to need to enter in the information for the physical interfaces so that will be PIF UUIDs equals and at this point we're going to have to enter in the UUIDs of the particular interfaces in this case be Ethernet 3 and 1 uh, so we'll go ahead and enter those in And we'll go ahead and enter in the comma uh, since we want multiple interfaces. And at this point, we'll enter in the information for the Ethernet one as well. All right, we've completed entering the information for our physical interfaces. And with, with that, we've created the, the bond itself, uh, which we've just given the UUID for. Um, in this case, uh, we can, we'll just jump back into Zen Center to see that we've essentially duplicated uh, the same sort of process. So here we see our, our networks. Uh, VM network bond one plus three. That concludes this video. Thanks again for watching. For additional information, you can go to the website. And for updates, you can follow me on Twitter. We have some upcoming videos uh, using Zen Convert to do uh, P2V conversions, uh, backing up Zen server host. As well as a project I've been working on for a while now uh, will be a, a pre-built appliance for the Citrix Zen Server ISO library.